I hope that this was helpful to you in your journey to possibly purchasing this item. If you're struggling in the same ways that I was struggling to find something to keep my son safe at night. I know like a big question is um, accidents. So I'm going to be talking about kind of the pros and cons. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Casita de Cristal, where I share my life's adventures in creating life free to find. I am currently changing Liam's bedding. So I figured that I would make a video on the frequently requested video update on Liam's bed situation. So we recently moved into a smaller space and in past homes Liam's been able to have his own room. But um, with the smaller space here we tried to put all the boys together in one room and that didn't go so well mainly because Liam is a night screamer. So he's back to having his own space now. I know like a big question is um, accidents and I don't really know if you're talking about um, for example uh, accidents as in he's physically getting hurt or other forms of accident. If we're talking about the other forms of accident, a quick tip that I can give you, and this is something that our pediatrician actually suggested to us, is to put two diapers on instead of just one at night. Um, and this kind of helps if, you know, just in case. Liam used to have a safe bed, like a bed, a bed specifically made for kids with disabilities or special needs. It was one that his insurance paid for, but at the time that he got uh, he got prescribed one, we were told that he wasn't even gonna be able to roll. So when he got the bed, it worked for a while, but then he started to kneel and stand, and then that bed didn't become safe for him anymore, so we put him in a playpen, because uh, he could still fit into them, uh, until we could get approved for an extension. Sadly, insurance never approved. We actually got denied, uh, I think a couple of times. So then we had to start getting creative with how we were gonna keep him safe at night. Our bed videos are probably the most popular ones. And so now I'm kind of posting an update on the newest bed situation. So we've done play pins before, but then he started to crawl out of them, climb out of them. Then we moved to basically, um, I would turn a bunk bed into a, you know, uh, a bigger crib, which included a gate on his bed, and then we had another gate in his door. But then he figured out his gates, and he was getting out of his gates from his bed and from his room. So then we heard about the um, the safety net. I think it's what it's called. Let me look it up real quick. Safe night net. And I know that's kind of where I've been getting uh, requests for an update. So I'm gonna be talking about kind of the pros and cons. I'm gonna start with the cons. There are two cons that I think come with this net. One is that the top of the bed is more loose than I would like, um, but the creators of the net did reach out to me and informed me that, that that was done on purpose in case the child wanted to stand up or move more that they didn't get hurt, which makes total sense. Um, I, I mean, I would still not like it to be so loose, but I, I can understand why. The second con that I think is that I have to take pieces off the bed in order to be able to wash the net. Um, but that just means it's well made and great to keep him safe and that's more important to me. I guess I could say that there's actually a third con to it and that's because, um, so this net is made for an Ikea Cura, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, Ikea Cura bed and that bed is actually a bunk bed so you can um, turn it upside down and it's a bunk bed and I guess my third con would be that you can't really do that with this. We tried that and the net just falls down. So I don't recommend so that you don't do it and regret it. We still did like, we still tried to do some zip ties on it and he just ripped the zip ties off. It'd be nicer if it could be created into a bug bed, but either way, he's not. Anyway, um, still wouldn't have worked for us anyway. Now, despite having these cons, I would still recommend this net as a safe as an option to keep your child with disabilities or special needs safe. We've had the net for a couple of years now. It comes with two zippers um, and then they meet together. For those struggling with runaways or kids that like to just get out of their bed um, on the
on their own. I recommend using a like a lock. We use it's like a toy lock. It was actually my daughter's like diary lock that she didn't really use. But you can find them on Amazon. I'll link in the description where I've gotten extra little locks for the bed. We used a carabiner. I think that's what they're called. They're like the things used for mountain climbing. Um, and Liam was able to just use his fingers like he was able to get a couple of fingers out to take it off the, the net. So the locks have worked better for us. They're I mean, they're practically toys, so um, they're easy to get open. And no worries, we've talked to our specialists, all his providers about it, and uh, like they said, his safety is first. So, I mean, they even suggest for us to use them. But if you don't feel comfortable, it's okay to talk with your provider and see what they think about using those toy locks um, for your child's bed. But for us, it has worked uh, great, and so we feel safe to sleep at night. I did get the question of if he has accidents, and I don't know if that was more physical related or, um, like I said, uh, like potty training related, but um, if it's physical, we actually have a mattress between his bed and the wall so that he doesn't injure his head um, with the wall. The, the bed does come with a wall on its own already, um, so we can't really do much there, and the other side is free for him to... You know, he likes to push his head against the net. Um, he does also like to push against, he ends up like just leaning or laying down between kind of more on the net than the actual bed. And he also does jump a lot. He bounces a lot in his bed on his knees. And so we found him with bruised knees and I think that's just because he got too close to the edges. You can totally buy like a bigger mattress, but he likes to sleep on harder uh, areas. Um, so we have a thinner mattress for him. And then we also have a bunkie board because this bed has slats. Um, and so the, the bunkie board serves as extra support because he does bounce a lot. If we are talking other kinds of accident, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I suggest putting two diapers on uh, your child. We actually have a mattress cover so that, you know, in case he has any accidents. We do try to keep a couple um, a couple of them just so that in case in the middle of the night if I need to change it, we can always switch the mattress cover as well, but that doesn't really typically happen. Well, that's all I have for this video. I hope that this was a very insightful and helpful video about the safety net um, that we have for our son. I hope that this was helpful to you in your journey to possibly purchasing this item. This is not an affiliate, like I, I, I'm not sponsored and I don't actually get any anything for speaking about this product. I just simply found it very helpful and I want to share this with you um, if you're struggling in the same ways that I was struggling to find something to keep my son safe at night. I would say that overall we're very happy with this product until we can possibly get him an actual safe bed. Um, but I know we're moving a lot, so that might not even happen. I'm not even, I'm not gonna try to pursue that until we probably find our like forever home. If you liked the video, if you found the video very insightful and helpful, please give it a thumbs up so that I know um, if it is helpful and I can provide more videos like this. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. If you need help with finding, you know, if there's other things that you're struggling with that maybe I can help you with, let me know and I will try to make a video about it too. Thanks for watching, until next time.